Hello YouTube fans, here again. And as we go through my 84 marathon, why not, why not? Team Jay. I remember doing Team Jay a lot. And I think Team Jay over this is an unestimated film. I say it again, an unestimated film. Because what you get is an adventure, an action, a bit of horror, a bit of sci-fi, all rolled into one. And it breaks me out that they don't make films like this anymore. It breaks my bloody heart. Now in 1984, they did the film where it's dealing with themes and a guy helping someone who could get into people's minds and get into their themes. Now you could kind of think, this film sounds a mirror of a lot of films, what Les Jathan did. And you'd be right, because in 1984, as we already know, Les Jathan did a tacit horror movie we all know, that being A Nightmare on Elm Street. The, this does have a bit of history there, because in 1984, when Les Jathan did the Nightmare on Elm Street, he got in trouble for copyright. This film, that being Team State. Now, I can see there's a difference. If you've ever seen Nightmare on Elm Street, it's complete and utter horror. There's only some similarities here, we can see the similarity, but not, no, no, not really. So let's go with the bloody story. So you've got this Jake Jimmy bit of opening, and you can say it's also a bit of a film of phoning, as well as it being an action film. My mate, Jeff in Trade, I read, got his name right, is in this film. And you've got an idea that some lone sarks are after him, he's got a lot of debts, and they're going to basically want to kick the shit out of him. So, he meets one of the other date actors who is sadly no longer with us. You may remember him being the Beast in the original, original The Exorcist. You bought that scene, Fancy Tocino, if you remember his bloody name. And he also played in Fast Jordan, the one that played the main villain in Fast Jordan. And so basically, he's going to help him get his debts, help him pay all his debts off if he does him a favour. And that's because he has a tired of getting into people's minds and getting into people's genes. It's a new program, basically, to help people who are having problems with nightmares. With nightmares. So, basically, it seems a good idea. But then you've got another company who wants to steal it and use it to kill the president. That's right, the president. And I'm not talking about Boris, so that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, so, they want to kill the president and uh, so on. You get one guy, you think you've seen him before, he's one that played the, do, 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 the Mando. And then he says, picks him up by his leg and he says, Remember when I said I was going to kill you last? Yeah, yeah, you did, you did. I lied. Da, da, da. Well, he's the one who's in this, who plays the main villain in this. you got the idea he's a bit of a psycho. But I do just, I just love the imagination in Team State. I cannot lie. I love the imagination. There's a bit of it where we've ever involved had this nightmare where the guy's falling off a building, Jeff and Tade is dying to help him, and they both fall. I love the idea. I love the way it looks. There's a scene where the guy's wife, he's got his weird team that his wife is cheating on him. <laughs> he comes in, there's a bit of lamp and find your man. Gets a bit weird. And I do know over this, over the years, this film was a bit X-rated. There was a bit more nude there. There was a bit more Wham Bang Frank, your man, in it. So they sort of timmed it down a bit. Originally, I had it with it. It was a bit more warm, you know. But it's actually got the uncut one. And there's one woman in it, very attractive woman. Same there, baby. Du, 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 du. That's right, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. She's in this and all, only with brown hair. There's a bit where he's having a, he gets into a team and there's a bit of wham bam fighting man on the train. It was a lot more war in the first night than any scene. And this is where it becomes all of the president, he seems to have nightmares, these zombies attacking him, someone pressing the nuke button, and so on. But before all that, there's a kid, good scene here, this kid's having nightmares of this monster trying to attack him, a typical nightmare what a kid has. Again, good imagination. Good. Blood in imagination, what movies these days is lacking. It's lacking. So, he saves this kid anyway, helps him out, and then this poor woman gets murdered in a dream. Made look like she's had an heart attack, but you get the idea she's been murdered. A little bit of Timaji there of Nightmare on Elm Street, but not a lot. But then he finds out he's been double tossed. His mate who's helping him, Dan Tofino, he gets killed. He has another die on the way. You might remember in the classic comedy show, Tears. He gets killed. And they're after him. So he tries to help the president. He knocks himself to feet. And um, basically, he tries to save the day. So what he does, 
what it does is it's just a bit where he's on the team this guy gets killed and when they cut one you don't see it and the uncut one you see a bit more he pulls his guy's heart out and he says a line after that there's a bit where he's known truckers which wasn't surprising because he's got the idea the villain's a Bruce Lee fan he says a scene I've seen enter the dad doing 100 times and he's thicking these nunchuckers. Look the way it sparks always thicking them. Sad to say on video over the days it was cut out that I'd be say I'd be do say I've got it right then say that you can now see it in its uncut form. Good bit with zombies that attacking you've got this weird roof and his weird laser eyes. It's brilliant imagination in this film. He outsmarts the villain anyway because what he does is he pretends to be his dad because he's got the idea of the villain killed his dad. He outsmarts him and he kills the bad guy, saves the president, and so on. The main villain gets killed. Typical jump stare. Don't worry, is it really needed? You know, you think that Jeffy Tate's on a lift. He says, something I've got to sell you. Rips his face off, turns into the monster. The same monster when he was helping that kid with his nightmare with the monster. He turns into that monster, freaks out the guy. His woman finds him in bed, dead. He goes on the team with that one out of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. You've got an idea there's going to be a bit of wham bang thank you man. They don't saw it. End of film. Happy ending. And I love it. I love Team J. I love it for a lot of reasons. I love Team State for the imagination. There's a lot of action in it. I love the idea it's, you're going into people's teams. And that's it. That's it. Because we had imagination. And you want to know something man. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it from the figging out. A Nightmare on Elm Street. A Nightmare on Elm Street, not the dud one, I'm quite saying there, there's this film, I'm about the shitty remake, should have used ideas from this film, they should have used ideas from this film, this film had more imagination and more going for it than the shitty remake, A Nightmare on Rape Street, I'm not going to call it Nightmare on Elm Street, I'm not going to call it Nightmare on Elm Street, it's an insult. Um, basically, they sort of used ideas from this because this had more imagination. I'm on about the remake, not the dud one. I'm about the shitty 2010 remake here. This had more imagination because in a team, you can do anything in a team. Anything in a team, you can do. And this film sells it, sells imagination. A bit where he's falling off the, this building and it's just weird colour. Bits where he's running and it goes in slow motion. Bits where he fights that monster and he cuts his head off and they're running down the stairs and the stairs change here, there, everywhere. Bits where they're in a lift and you've got these weird zombies chasing Tepping Tade and the President. Bits where these wolf have got these weird red laser eyes. And one thing I do love and all about this film was the amazing art cover, what they used for this film, Jim State. The art cover is beautiful, it's, a, it's in fighting, it's just the same regard. So yeah, I do remember once. I do remember once sewing the original art cuff of this film and I thought the art cuff sold it. It actually sold it. From 1984, check it out. Gene Stay, it's a good one. I've not done it for so long. Why not? Why not? A 14 star rating. Because I love Gene Stay. That's my 84 marathon. If I don't do it for a bit, I'm going to be having a week off from work and a week off. So if you don't see me for a bit, I would do still doing some stuff. I'll probably show my best and talk a bit more with me, myself and I. I'll probably talk about other things on the way. But as soon as I come back, I'll then go on to probably one more. That being one that's another unestimated film. The Adventures of Bullside. If I can else it right. Yeah, the Adventures of Bullside. I can else it right, but it's a film with Peter Welloff. Damn good film. I'll probably do that one. I'll probably do some more 84 marathon, but it's a lot in 84. And then I'll probably work on to my 1985 action marathon. But into that, be smart, be safe. See you later.